Today you're going to learn three different ways that you can create journal entries in Zero. So there are a couple different places where you can create journal entries. Under the accounting tab, it's already favorited. Here is manual journals. You also have the quick add menu. Up the top right hand corner on your navigation bar, you can go ahead and create manual journal. Here we'll give our journal entry a quick narration, a date. Now we have the option to auto reverse it. In this case, we, that won't be necessary. We can also upload any applicable files here. You have default narration to journal line description. All this means is that when you click down to the line items below, your narration above will automatically copy, saving you some time. And then show journal on cash basis reports just means that this entry will also appear when you're running your cash basis reports as well as your accrual basis reports. So I'm going to tab over here and book this to depreciation. Region in Zero, the Zero Demo Company is just a tracking category or class. So we're going to leave that blank for now. Okay. And then Zero is going to populate the other side for me, which is great. Here I have the option to save this as a draft or save and add another journal entry in case someone else needs to review this transaction. I can also simply post this or post and add another transaction. So let's go ahead and post this journal entry. The next option we have is a repeating journal. So new repeating journal. And this will be really good for journal entries that you need to create on a monthly basis or on a recurring basis. Um, a great example of that is amortizing prepaid expenses. So let's say for example, on the first of the year, we paid for liability insurance for the entire year. And that total amount was $1,200. So we're going to amortize $100 every single month for 12 months. So the first journal date would be January 1st, 24. We're going to repeat this journal every one month. And the end date is optional. So if you have a recurring entry that's going to recur indefinitely, you do not need an end date. However, in our case, this is going to end by the end of the year. So we'll enter in that end date, December 31st, 2024. And here you're able to tell Zero what you want it to do with this journal entry. Do you want Zero to create a draft that you can review before posting, before month end, or do you want Zero to simply post this? So up to you. Um, I prefer to do save as draft, so I have uh, one last chance to review this journal entry. And then the narration, I'm going to call this amortization for liability insurance. And then Zero has these neat little placeholders that make it easy to know which period this journal entry applies to. So I'm going to say month and year here. Again, we see the same checkboxes as before. Find my insurance expense account. We're going to debit $100 per month. And then prepayments, we're going to credit $100 on the other side. Okay, and before you click save, you can always preview your placeholder to make sure it looks the way you want it to. So you can amortize for liability insurance and that placeholder is populating for the given month. So I'm gonna click save here. And then what you'll notice is Zero is gonna create draft journal entries for the months that have already occurred. So if I go into the draft tab, you can see that Zero has created three journal entries, one for January, February, and March. Next month in April, it is going to create another journal entry in April as well. So if I am comfortable with these journal entries, I can go ahead and select all three and just click post. The last way to get journals into Zero is through importing in a spreadsheet. So here on the manual journals page, we can click import. Zero is going to offer a download template file in CSV format. I've gone ahead and opened mine up in a Google Sheet. And it's going to look something like this. You won't have any journal entry transactions in here. I've created this for demonstration purposes. But there are three entries, so you can import multiple entries in one file. I've got an example accrual entry here where I am accruing advertising expenses another cool entry for legal expenses, and then lastly, an adjustment entry to recategorize, miscategorize office expenses from other accounts. 
Notice at the top column headings, you don't want to change any of these, but you have asterisks on the narration, the date, the account code, the tax rate, and the amount. These are all mandatory columns. Everything else is optional, including tracking categories and the description. How Xero is going to tell the difference between different journal entries is by the narration. So if you have the same narration for both of these line items, it's going to group this as a single journal entry. Same thing for this accrual entry number two and for the adjustment entry. The other thing to keep in mind is that the tax rate again is mandatory. And so you want to grab the exact tax rate or else it won't import properly. And then the amount is a single column in zero. So when you are debiting an account, that should be a positive number. If you're crediting account, that's going to be a negative number. And then your journal entry should net to zero. So in this case, our sum is zero and that way the journal entry will import properly. So I've saved that as a CSV file, and now I'm going to come back into Zero and browse for that file for import. Okay, and Zero is going to tell me now I have three valid journals and will be imported as draft journals. Okay, so you see now that I have my three entries. I have my curl entries, my adjustment entry. Let's take a look at one of these and see what it looks like. Okay, very similar to our other screens before. You have, again, the option to add in the auto-reversing date. Looks like all of our entries came through properly, and now we can just post. So there you have it. Three different ways that you can get journal entries into Xero. Hope you enjoyed this video.